Hey guys, welcome back to The Collector's Table. My name is Adam, and today I'm really excited because we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the new one-third scale Donatello from PCS. So if you don't know already, PCS is doing an entire line of turtles, and Shredder is also part of that line. Uh, once I saw Shredder, I knew I wanted to be all in on the line. Uh, Raphael being the first one, Donatello being the second turtle, and then Shredder should be coming out shortly. I have him on pre-order. And then also, I think Leonardo might be the next turtle, and then followed up by Michelangelo. So really cool line, looking forward to collecting them all and putting them all together. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the review. Here's the art box. Nice art box, but I'm not really into art boxes. Let's go ahead and take it out. And you're followed up with two straps holding the foam layers. Here's the top layer of the box. It's got the two portraits, the body. You have a Mauser head with two hand pieces down there and his bandana. And the next layer has the base, a couple more Mauser pieces, his arm with the staff, and also another part of the bandana. And two other pieces there. Not sure what that's there for, but we'll figure it out as we put it together. Starting with the base down here, we have 250 out of 350 for the addition size. So not a bad addition size for this. Starting on the front of the base here, you can see all like the rocks. It's got like some rubble and stuff down here. You also have some, it looks like some Mauser legs or parts. And on the side, you have like the, the sewage that's leaking out of the sewer on the side. It's got some like resin spilling over the side and the edges. So I really like that. I like how it, it kind of pops. If you hit it in the right light, it's got a nice bright green to it. And back here you have some more rocks and boulders. A little smooth in some places. Maybe could use a little bit more texture, but it still looks good. And then you have the iron bars coming out the side and some, looks like some Mauser bodies on the top. Next we have Donatello's body. We'll go ahead and key this in. And I like the back of where, you know, where his shell is at and he's got all the pouches with the straps kind of holding up his different gadgets. And uh, I think that looks really cool. I mean, that's what makes Donatello really him. And you got the straps going around the front right here too and around his waist. I really like what they did with the enamel look on these nails. Like both his feet and hands have this realistic enamel look on the nails. So it makes it look very realistic. And then you have like the foot wrap. It's kind of loosely wrapped around his left foot. That came out really good too. Now the skin tone is a little bit different than Raphael. Uh, I've noticed some collectors say that they don't really like that Donatello's skin tone is a little bit darker than Raphael's just because they want them all to match. But we'll see how that looks uh, side by side later on in the video. And we'll just see if that's really going to make a big difference when displaying it. This is a nice little touch too. It looks like it's a little bit of cabling or another gadget that goes on to his utility belt there and it looks like there's another cable that you got to add to his gadget belt back here and it looks like it goes into this scanner looking box and then connects to this other gadget over here so I like the way that looks that's a nice touch so one thing I noticed is that these are two Mauser heads except this one is from Raphael's statue and this one is from this statue. But there is a nice difference in scale. And I just noticed that as I was putting them together, I kind of looked back at my, my other statue and I said, man, I think the, the scale might be a little bit different and lo and behold, the scales for the Mauser heads. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be this way. I can't remember as a kid growing up are the, you know, are the Mauser heads different um, sizes? I can't remember because it was so long ago, but maybe you guys can help me out in the comment section below. But you also have a slightly different color paint 
application, which is sometimes happens when you're making these things separately. They're not all made at once. So I get that. But we're gonna see if this makes a big difference. We're gonna put the, uh, the statue side by side, like I said, later on. And we'll see if it makes a big difference when displaying it. Let's go ahead and key this Mauser in at the bottom of the base. And the other Mauser head just keys into the other body here. Next, we're gonna add his left arm. And you have, it looks like mixed media on this staff. I love the way this looks, but it's not. It's, it's actually all sculpted. So love the textures in the wraps going around the staff. And I also really like the, the enamel on the nails, like I mentioned before. There goes more of his arm, and then you got some more wraps that got like a dirtier look around his left hand. So I like that. And then here's the top of the staff with a little bit of texture. So let's go ahead and add that. There you go. So this one comes with two swappable right hands. And this is gonna be the exclusive swap out for the right hand with the Ninja Stars. And then you also have another right hand without it. I'm gonna go ahead and use the deluxe version swap out for the right hand. I like it with the Ninja Stars a little bit better. Here's the regular edition portrait. And he's got kind of like this smirk, which I like. And then it's got these reddish hues in the corner of his eyes. Just makes him look like a little bit more realistic as far as his eyes are concerned. And then you got the bandana that wraps around, gets keyed in the back. So that's how that looks. And it'll go with this bandana, which keys in like that. So that's the regular edition portrait. But we're gonna go ahead and take this portrait back out. And I think we're gonna go ahead and rock the exclusive portrait, which comes with the goggles. And you can see more of his teeth I really like how they did the teeth on these guys. Another gadget going, uh, connecting to his goggles with these two wires. Love how that looks on the side right there. I just, I like this portrait a lot better. I mean, this again, it, it screams more Donatello than the other portrait, which I, I still like the other portrait, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Now it is possible to put in the wrong um, bandana. There's two of these and this one goes into this portrait. Now the way you know is you can slightly, at least for me, I could feel a little bit of resistance putting the wrong bandana in. Like it's got a different type of magnet. So I guess that's one way to know. But that's how the exclusive portrait looks. Killer portrait. Very well done. And I love it. Before we go into the comparisons, I'm gonna go ahead and get the dimensions for Donatello. So the highest point is on the tip of his staff, which is 25, just over 25 inches. The depth is gonna be right around, the furthest point back is gonna be his arm holding the Ninja Stars, and that's right around 13 inches, maybe 13 and a half inches. And the width is right around 15 inches or so. Comparing the two, there are some major differences between the two turtles. Uh, so the biggest one is being the skin tone. Obviously, Raphael has a lighter skin tone um, compared to his brother over here that's got the darker skin tone. Is it something that bothers me? No, actually, I don't think it bothers me at all. Uh, I know it bothers some collectors, but for me, I like the uniqueness of them being different. I think the different characteristics makes it a lot better in my personal opinion. I, you know, I've seen turtles been made before that they all are, they look so similar that they all look almost the same. And the only difference is just the color of their bandanas. So I can appreciate that the skin tones are different. Not every turtle has the same 
color skin too, as far as I know. So skin tones, not a big deal. I think that still looks good. As far as the Mauser heads being different sizes, um, you know, I was concerned when we had both statues put together and displayed together this close like this, that there might be a distinct difference between the two Mausers. But actually looking straight on at it, in my personal opinion, you can't really even tell the difference. So I don't think that's gonna be a problem at all. Uh, and like I said, having a little bit of uniqueness between the two statues, I think makes it a lot better as far as displayability. Anyway guys, I appreciate you stopping in at the collector's table to watch my unboxing and review of this amazing piece. If you enjoyed the video today, go ahead and hit that like button. And on the way out, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more statue reviews in the pipeline that should be hitting the collector's table soon. And again, I appreciate you joining me here at the collector's table where every collector has a seat.